All right, guys, big win for the Utah Jazz. Tonight it was Mike Conley showing up huge for Utah against Boston. This is the Hoopsner postgame show. What a nice win for the Utah Jazz, who have been a roller coaster all season. You have win streaks and then losing streaks and then win streaks and then losing streaks and now a win streak. Four games in a row for Utah. But tonight was the win that mattered because I don't care about the Knicks. I don't care about beating the Cavs. You know, if you lose to those teams, it's a disaster. But the Jazz have shown they are a good team that can beat bad teams. But are the Jazz a great team? I, tonight showed a nice win. I'm still tentatively, you know, not going to get too excited over a nice win over the, the Boston Celtics because they should be winning more games like this. But it's so nice to see Utah get over the hump and basically because of Mike Conley overcoming bad games from Boyan Bogdanovich and, and Donovan Mitchell. All right, for the Boston Celtics... Uh, tonight showed you why Mike Conley's such a better player than Kemba Walker. Uh, Kemba Walker is nice at times. To me, Kemba Walker is kind of like the Matthew Stafford of the NBA. He will get you stats and he will put up big points. His averages will look good and his yardage will look good. But then when it comes down to like crunch time and when you need that guy to make a play, it just doesn't happen. And that's why for Boston, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are so important. Jalen Brown doesn't play tonight. You could argue Jalen Brown's way more important to this Boston Celtics team than Kemba Walker because of what he brings to the table. Big shots, defense, does all the right things. And then Jason Tatum being able to play off of that and just do work. Jason Tatum, who's been just phenomenal post-All-Star break in the second half of the season. He's amazing. His ability to just get buckets in isolation. He's hitting threes at a high rate. He's just a scorer. And he, ha you know, he's a better passer than I think he gets credit for. <coughs> Sorry, Corona. Um, let's see. Uh, Jason Tatum tonight, 7 for 19. But he passes the ball around tonight, three assists. He's just fantastic. When he is on, he's a monster. And there were times where it looked like the Boston Celtics could get back in this game. Uh, Utah did a pretty good job guarding Tatum tonight, though, because he only scored 18 points, 36% from the field. That's big-time defense from Utah. And that's the big story of this game. The Jazz won with Mike Conley uh, stepping up when on offense when Boyan and Donovan Mitchell just weren't weren't having good nights tonight. Boyan Bogdanovich shot two for nine from the field, one for five from three. He had some, he had five turnovers. Boyan was awful tonight. He was awful. There are not a lot of words to describe what, how bad Boyan Bogdanovich was tonight. He did not look engaged. His mind, he just wasn't there. It was bad. He was a negative for the team. The eight points he hit, you know, two, three, he hit that one, three, which was a big shot. But imagine if Boyan has a good night tonight, this isn't even close. And then Donovan Mitchell, who had three threes in the first half, ends the game three for 15, 11 points. Uh, the Jazz starters minus Mike Conley were minus 20 or, or worse. But that's not, uh, you know, that I, I don't know what else to say other than Mike Conley won this game for the Jazz. And as a Jazz fan, you've got to be excited about that. Because if he can carry you on nights when teams are focusing on Donovan and Bojan or they're just having bad nights... That's exciting for a Jazz fan. And the fact that Utah played such good defense, Rudy Gobert was just a dominant force inside yet again. Do just, yeah, you know, there were a few plays in the first half where it seemed like Brad Stevens, Brad Stevens figured some things with some screening in the paint. The refs didn't call. By the way, friendly whistle for Boston tonight. My goodness. But they were allowing, uh, they were allowing Tice to just like moving screen Rudy in the paint. And they did it like three times and scored three times in a row until Utah has to call a timeout to talk to the refs to make, to like watch the game. But finally they figured that out. And once they weren't allowed to do illegal screens, Rudy was just obliterating people. He was blocking shots tonight. Rudy Gobert only nine points, but he had, let's see, only seven rebounds, but three block shots. The the plus minus on Rudy is not uh, very, he's the only re the reason outside of Mike Conley that that starting unit did really well. He played phenomenal. Uh, Royce O'Neal, actually, you got to give credit to Royce as well. His defense on, on Jason Tatum was great. Uh, tonight showed you everything the Jazz could be, mostly because you had guys playing poorly and the Jazz still won. That's what great teams do.
Uh, that bench unit for Utah was also fin- fantastic. Jordan Clarkson, to net, again, just produces buckets. That That's what he does. Uh, he produces more buckets than KFC. Uh, and then you have Tony Bradley, who had a monster night blocking shots. He was big time for them. Tonight, uh, Tony Bradley... Three block shots for Tony, and he did a just a nice job rebounding, finishing under the rim, and George Niang hitting threes. The minivan, one for three tonight, but also three for five from the field. Plus 23, plus 26 for Jordan Clarkson. Uh, Tony Bradley, plus 25. What a monster night. And Joe Ingles also. Shout out to Joe Ingles, who had a big night, and he came off the bench. If anything, that can get you excited as well, because Joe Ingles, wished, with that bench unit, played well. Uh, the shot wasn't falling as much as you like. Actually... Three for six from three. Be quiet. I need to be quiet. He played great. Three for six from three. He just had that one possession at the end of the game where he missed like two corner threes in a row. But other than that, three for seven from the field, seven rebounds, six assists for Joe Ingles. Nice night for Joe Ingles. Just a nice win for Utah who plays against a Boston team who is really good. Whether it's, you know, Kemba down or Jalen down or or whoever is down, they play well. They have a, a really nice record whether they're playing their full unit or not. And Utah found a way to win. Really nice to see. Guys, like and subscribe to this channel. Big win for the Jazz. Like and subscribe. Guys, I will talk to you later.